Hello everyone, welcome to this series of uh, uh, videos, uh, Python and Pandas for Data Science Productivity. This growing workbook is totally made possible by the following references, and sometimes I may pick up possibly exact examples, you know, directly from these sources. Usually I don't do that, but I might do, because they are so well designed, okay? Um, so uh, this, uh, you know, yeah, in, no notes is complete, you know, which doesn't refer to the original creators. You know, that's PyData, who, who, is, who has the, you know, user guide for us on Pandas. And, if, you know, these are some of the, you know, uh, some of the people who have been you know, enthusiastically working on it and posting it in the GitHub and so on. So this one is from Noro Chalice. I saw that in LinkedIn, okay? And this one is from thispointer.com for page. And this one is, you know, from Coder. Uh, zcolumn.com and finally defi defi.tech courses I'm, I'm just researching this one uh, so i will continue to update this and i might add additionally post some nice things also here additionally um, or my drop too you know some i might drop you know, some of them um, so follow me okay so you can follow me in uh, linkedin you just search netra um, or predictive modeling you know profile uh introducing the you know I, I will do introduce introduction of the pandas next but today i'm going to talk to you all about the jupyter notebook okay so um the jupyter notebook uh, comes as part of the anaconda installation so i have the installation recently done and you can see that here the anaconda okay on the left here and you know i have some previous versions sitting there i'd love to delete them right now i just you know i installed it today so I'm using this version. This is what I'm talking about. Jupyter Notebook Anaconda New. Okay. And uh, that's what it opens. When I open that, uh, I will get uh, uh, I'll get this page, actually. I'll get this page. And then I go to, you know, this particular Pandas for Python Productivity Part 1, IPy and NB file, uh, Python Notebook file. I click on it and I get this. So that's how I end up here. Okay. And then I just want to check that you now I have uh, Jupyter, you know, I just want to know what Jupyter version I have, what Python version I have. You now I have it, the uh, Anaconda installs. Uh, it gave me a choice to select the 3.9.7, so I took it, uh, a particular version, Anaconda 3 version. Um, and it's, it's, you know, we have, I think, 4 also, but, you know, this is a, it's a good choice as a, you know, most uh, stable version. Uh, and at the same time with advanced uh, uh, functionalities compared to la la you know, last six months, okay, last six months to one year. Uh, so let's just run this, and then this is a Jupyter version I have, uh, notebook uh, version, IPython notebook, you know, uh, 7.29, okay. Uh, the kernel is 6.4. Anything above 6.4 is considered, this one, this version, any point, anything about, about 6.4 is considered the latest, okay. Most of the things should work. And then, you know, you can always update. You can install upgrade notebook, Jupyter uh, notebook if you want. You can do that. You know, I think it all should work because I tested them. Basically, it says requirement already satisfied. And then I also want to check, you know, through Conda. Remember, but the exclamation mark says I am actually working with, you know, um, the uh, Windows shell, actually. Okay, these are all directly going into Windows shell. I could do this at the, you know, Windows command, you know, let's look at this one. Uh, the Anaconda uh, CMD file, right? Um, Anaconda Power, no, Anaconda this one. I can work with this directly, okay? The same command will, will work there too. Uh, but, you know, it's also nice to see that you, know, you can do all those command, command line uh, executions. You can do it within the uh, Jupyter uh, notebook with this exclamation mark, okay? I also want to introduce some very powerful, a uh, few more things, two more things. One is the line magic commands and, you know, the cell magic commands. As well as the uh, the pull down menu here, and uh, yeah, let me first go through the pull down menu, and then we'll come to the line magic command, you know, uh, cell magic commands, and uh, uh, you know, finally the uh, the uh, shortcuts for the Jupyter notebook. So um, you know, the the file pull down menu tells you know you are, you know you can click on it to start the Python you know the Python kernel three uh, version uh, Python version three. Um, and you can also use open and go through the file and you know, directory system. 
Uh, you can make a copy of this, you can save it, and then uh, save and checkpoint. You know, this is important sometimes, you know, you, you know when you keep the checkpoints, uh, all the um, all the uh, objects, you know, up to that point are consistently stored, okay, and saved for you. Um, and then you can also download this as an HTML file, JTEX file, markdown file, uh, notebook file, all those things you can do, including PDF version of the HTML conversion. Um, and, uh, uh, and then, of course, you can close and halt. Uh, those are the functions and the edit files. There are some commands here you, which you can get it quickly also. Some other short commands are here. Delete cell, cut cell, copy cell, split cell, merge cell, dot, 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 move up cell, move down cell, all those things. I have some short uh, uh, commands, you know, uh, keyboard commands that I use usually. Most of the time, I don't come here, but just want to walk you through. And you can, uh, I mean, you can toggle the header and all these are very small things. Insert, you can insert, this is what I use usually, okay? ESC command, ESC command in laptop. And then you press this one. After ESC, you press A, you know, you will insert a cell above a current current cell. If you do, if you press B, you will insert uh, a cell below the current cell. Empty cell, okay? A blank cell. And then if you press D, uh, you have to do it two times. The current cell will be deleted. Okay, so those are most important commands. And then the cell we have, you can, you know, you can do. I usually use that, you know, shortcut here, Control Enter to run a cell. Okay, uh, to run cells and select uh, below uh, to run cells and select below. You know, Shift Enter, run cells and insert below. I mean, I use this. This is the most common one I use. And then run all. If I want to come to run all, run above, run below, all, then I come here to the pull down menu. Okay, um, you can all. You, sh you should also, you know, if it is a, if it's not a code cell, then you really are thinking that it is a, some kind of markdown, you know, instructions, you know, details, or you can leave it as it is a NB convert, which is just, a, you know, not a not a HTML type uh, notes. If, if you want HTML type notes, then you do the markdown. Otherwise, you can keep it like this. We will see some other examples, you know, as we go along. The kernel is the one, you know, you can restart the kernel and clear all the output. It is probably needed when you are testing ideas and then you want to sequence the commands correctly or you can say run and you know, restart and run all reconnection shutdown when i close this one i won't just say x you know x then you know, click this x i usually do the shutdown and then i exit okay there is another step in between you know it will give you one more time one more chance to say shutdown so click on that shutdown button and then you exit exit okay that's the only way to do it right otherwise the in the background it might be running so uh, those are some of the things, and then save notebook widget state download. Okay, these are all about widgets. Right now, you know we can wait for that to talk, to learn a little bit more about that later. on. So that is essentially, you know, what has happened. Now let us see, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the magic commands which are very useful. We interact with you know, the objects, you know, the various, uh, um, you know, uh, the share, the various uh, systems, and you know. Uh, so many other things you can do. Let's just list all the uh, magic commands and then go from there. But in order to do that, we also want to know magic command itself. So here is the uh, single uh, single uh, person symbol, and then the command you know gives you uh, it runs your single cell, single line, single cell content. Okay, uh, command contents. Uh, if you want the whole collection of you know commands inside a cell, uh, you know then you use double uh, person sign and who, uh, person sign and um, who is an example, person sign and the command. Okay, so let's do this. The person who command, you know, line returns all the variables in a, of a particular type, uh, also in general, you know, but all the variables first, also, also of particular type with uh, some modification, you know, for this, you know, for the mod, uh, for the um, parameter change, you know. Uh, we can give variable type followed by command and it will return a list of all variables of that type with that type. Okay. We can even give more than one type if you want to see variables of different type which are currently active in Jupyter Notebook and you will see some examples. Okay. The other thing I want to tell you is that now to see full list of all shortcuts in Jupyter Notebook, press ESC. That's what I'm doing right now and then press H subsequently. Right. So now you have this command mode, you know, short, short. Uh, you know, short keyboard commands here on the left, and you know, most of the time, you know, 20% of your commands here will give you 80 90% of your work done on a daily basis. So, I, of course, you know, you know, ESCF that's commonly many of them are you know in the uh, in the Windows uh, uh, 
uh, command list and also for example ESEC will copy that for example right let's see that ESEC yeah here it is copy selected cells ESC V refers to paste cells below okay um and then you know ESC you know escape A insert cell above escape B, cell escape uh, B insert below okay escape X cuts the selected cell and so on so delete selected you know, double D you have to do escape DD will delete selected cells you know usually one or we do and uh, you know so, so those are the some of the important things you need to keep in you know memorize and keep it in and you, you will get this when you keep on practicing you know you will learn all those things okay so if you want to do the comment you can do control uh, forward slash and so on the um, so the other thing is you now you also have this keyboard i wanted to, oh, the other thing is i want to get you some of these commands here i didn't talk to you uh, you can save it anytime you want and it's always a good idea to save you know every few minutes and then uh, and then you can insert a cell below you know that's we, we are going to esc okay cutting is probably control x or you can do this one copy the selected cells um and you know run of course you know the specific cell but run if you want all the above or below or all use this one we talked about it um so this one is also important because once you select a cell you want to see whether you want to keep it you want to know whether you want to keep it as a code or markdown see right now it is run as a you know let's see i keep it as a markdown so if that's what it will show but if you do control enter that's where it runs this code it becomes you know like a html type you know notes you know with the header headline um you know uh, headline type you know output to get your attention much clearly uh so you want you, know, you want leave it as it is as an you know nb convert raw raw date raw message this is what you have to do right so you just can you know go select that and do this and of course to run that you have to always do control enter so that it's you know completes its step and then you come out here so it, right now it is raw raw nb convert notebook convert okay into text but you know sometimes you want to see like this um and you know let me complete that one also for you so this is the Head, um, headline one type this is two three four and each one is really you know a small version small smaller size smaller size and so on so here you, here you go okay um so having uh that now we are ready to talk about the magic commands here the magic commands is a few magic commands i want to introduce uh it tells you the current working uh, present working directory percent pwd uh gives you person of current working directory who gives you uh who are who you know I, I like who actually it gives you details about the current objects and then ls gives you the directory path detail you know ls gives you the, the full directory path you know similar to the unix you can also use this one directory you know if you are you're going to use the windows command use this one if you do this it will still execute as if it is the unix machine this commands alone you know even the, even if you're running a windows it will execute that now you'll see that some of that right now okay about that so here you go uh, the first one is the current working directory. So it did say uh, the current working directory is this. That's what it says. Okay. By the way, I have uh, run uh, some command here that helps me to run. Um, that helps me to run. Uh, so I can this. That helps me to run the multiple lines. You know. Um, uh, otherwise, you know, usually it will run only one command. That's the last command. Okay. Or at least it will show the last command to one bit. But here, you know, with that uh, setup. I have here, I am able to run multiple commands here. And that setup is, uh, maybe it is down here, I should move it up there, you know, we'll see, I'll come back, when I come there, somewhere I'll talk to you, okay, about that. So here, this is what it is, I'm still talking about Python version and so on. So here is what it is, okay. This command helps me to uh, run multiple uh, commands within a cell, uh, I can always get back to the, uh, you know, one cell version but i, I like you know, multiple commands in one cell sometimes it is very useful so i use that i ran that one i should keep this you know in the top i ran it before so that's why you know it is still working for me okay um all right and then so we so we saw that you know that the present working directory is this one that's what it is you know um and that is uh, the user directory you know it, you know, so if we, I'm just bringing out here, the user directory is this, USS, this is my user directory. That's where my, you know, 
pandas pandas for productivity is here right if you look at it i'll show you one moment please uh, so if you look at it the sorry okay one moment <laughs> okay it's not allowing me i should probably go no i don't know what's going on one moment give me a moment i will check it out okay <laughs> all right uh, i'm going to try get your attention the following way uh it is below below this okay it's below this my file so i'm going to do maybe move you just not, not possible not possible so uh, um i'll show that to you so maybe i have to take just a screenshot of that you know it's below there i'm not i'm trying my my challenge is here trying to show that it is there okay it is there, you know. I, I just want to tell you that that this file is coming actually from this. So it's a kind of directory, and the next command is pull, right? Oh, uh, all, by the way, uh, current working directory it gives me the ls whose is not run. Why? Let me see that one also separately. Okay, let me do that. Um, let me run it again. Okay, so here it is. Um, directory. That again, again, I'm running this, no directory. That's what this one is, the directory command. And then in the, below, the Windows help file should come because remember, exclamation is for Windows, okay? And you can also say, typically, you know, for, this is magic command, is written in a Unix, you know, uh, C and so on. So it is um, uh, it is addressing like the background is, you know, as if it's a Unix system, it will bring you know, the directory system. So in this is the help file after the directory system. So the help file is coming here. For more information on specific command, type help command. But this this one is you know coming at the end here at the bottom. This is the Windows help file. Remember that, okay? So um, so if we want to know you know the list of all magic commands, there are a lot of them, right? So here is the command. You just say ls magic percent ls magic. So you get this. I'm running it. You know when I you know you see suddenly jumping out. You know these these answers. Because I was running it with Control Enter, that cell. Okay, so there are so many of these things are here. DD, you know, change directory you can do, uh, clear screen, colors, conda, all these things. You know, you can time it. You know, we have to talk, talk to you about that in the next section. Uh, so we have all these things. A lot of things. You know, you can do. You can manage the meta uh, uh, shell level operation sitting inside the uh, uh, Jupyter notebook. So let's just talk about the time it's a very useful one here is the more here is more detail about time it commands with so many of these you know parameters coming here switch commands switch parameters but you know let's not worry about that uh just time it you know we are going to work it out you know if it is a single line uh single line uh, submission of the command a python command you can use a, uh percent time it otherwise double percent time it remember that okay so let's do uh, the who's command i just want to show you here so here is something I defined, and then I just check who specific, right? Who's string, you know, who's this dictionary I'm defining here, dictionary uh, and float and so on, right? So let's define. So it is saying, I have done all these things, you know, loaded it, and then within this one, right? And then I'm asking uh, among these, what are the strings, okay? So it says E is a string, okay? Among this, E is a string, okay? Uh, and there must be, Oh, okay. B is a uh, B is a dictionary. Okay, B is dictionary. X and Y are float values. A is a list. Okay, A, B, E. That's how these are the only three things I have. Okay, and then X and Y, some single uh, scalar values. Okay, so want to know details about a magic command? Just type the command, highlight it, and do the Shift tab. You get the uh, you'll get the document. Well, let, let's. I'm going to do it right now here. You know, right now I, I highlighted it and then do shift tab. I'm just doing it in the keyboard. See, there you go. You get to the uh, the doc string. That means you no know, more details about it. You know, basically uh, help file descriptions, time execution of Python statement or expression. The CPU will ball clock times are printed and the value of the maybe. Well, let me see one more time. Okay, I'm going to do control shift tab. Oh, what happened? Control shift, not control shift, shift tab. Oh, why it jumped? Okay, so shift tab, shift tab, 
is very small. I mean, not much is there. Okay, basically it says the, the wall time. Okay, so we will run some examples and see. Right now, why don't we do that? Okay, control enter. There you go. And you know, some for some strange reason, you no, know, it is giving minus zero uh, n s. Okay, wall time. Um, I'm doing some kind of a, a Python function here, which is called the uh, list comprehension. This is called a list. You know, maybe I will do separately you know, some basics about you know, data structures uh, at a different video. So this is a list, and you know, within that, you know, this is a list. When you have double parentheses like this, I mean, you know, left parenthesis, right parenthesis, it's always you know, it's about list. Okay, so uh, I'm just saying, you know, uh, I can create a, a whole collection of you know functional uh, calculations, function calculations, and that's why it is i square. I'm going to do the square of the you know, value i, you know, square of the value. That means you know, square I, mean, I, i to the power 2, which is you know, square of the value. For every i value in the range, okay, that's what it is. And then I'm printing, okay. But if you do print a double uh, 1, you know, which is which is considering the whole, you know, uh, the collection of, you know, whole collection of, you uh, uh, Python statement, so I want to move this one to maybe keep it here. Okay, I don't need to run this again and again. So when I do that, you know, it is going to give a lot more very minute details. Okay, so you see that wall time is 30 microseconds. Okay, I'm going to call it the MS. Okay, um, so for some reason, you know, I don't know why that is going. It's it will always giving me zero and as compared to the uh, percent time. Anyway, so this is uh, you know that it is you are able to time it. You have the you know, print. I said print the np square root nums. You know nums are here, which is a list. And then I'm taking it. I do that. Remember this is very interesting here, right? I actually square it, and then I'm taking you know, all the elements into square root of that. So basically, I'm getting back to this you know one to hundred thousand. Basically, that's what it is, right? And you can see that. You know. So um, uh, you can see that. That's what it is, you know. So if you undo the scientific notation, but you know, if you print the regular numbers, and we'll see later on some examples like that, you know, it becomes basically zero to ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine integers. That's what this one is, and it takes my, you know, so I can we can ball, we can time the operations. So there is something about the Jupiter themes, you know. I will skip for now. Okay, so this is what I already did. I'm going to cut this one out. We don't need it. And then from here onwards, I'm going to introduce a little bit of, uh, you know, pandas. You know, we'll come to that in the next session. So I will move this to below pandas. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a fun time until I see you next time. Thank you. Have a great evening. Bye bye.